Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rachel here from Makers Gonna Learn and today we're gonna be sharing with you how to make some cute little wine glasses. These are perfect as a gift for friends that you know that are getting married. These are super customizable. They could be for you and your girlfriend, for you and your husband, whatever you wanna make them for. These make awesome, awesome gifts. And today we are actually using two fonts from our Makers Gonna Learn font library. If you are not familiar with makersgonnalearn.com, check out the first link below. You will not wanna miss out on hundreds and hundreds of cup files plus fonts being added all the time. And if you have a die cutting machine, you will love the membership. So in this video, we're gonna give you all some tips and tricks to applying vinyl to your wine glasses and helping them adhere super, super well. I know that sometimes it might seem tricky to apply vinyl to such a curved surface, but with these tricks, you'll be doing it like a pro. Let's jump into it. Okay, here we are in design space and I have already downloaded, sized, and manipulated all of our fonts that we're gonna to use today, but I'm gonna show you all how we did it. So if you wanna know how to download Maker's Gonna Learn fonts into your desktop or your iPad, go on over to the channel and we have some videos for that. So today we're just gonna jump in with having these fonts already downloaded. So we're gonna go over here and hit text. And make sure you go to System Fonts. If you have downloaded any fonts into Cricut Design Space from the Makers Gonna Learn website, they will be in System Fonts. And we're using two today. The names of them are Muffin and Fast Curve. And so we're just going to type in Fast, and we should see it pop up here. Now we're gonna type Time 2, and then we're gonna go down here and select another uh, text box. And again, in Fast Curve, we're going to type wine and all in capital letters. So there we go. And then we're gonna go over here and search for the system font muffin. And now we're just going to type down. Now here's all of our fonts and this is uh, nothing done to them, we've just typed them out. So the first thing that we're gonna start doing is we're gonna tap on this first um, first text box here and we're going to go down here to edit. Now we're going to uh, click letter space here and we're going to just hit that little uh, minus sign. We just want to bring that letter space down, down, down. So once it looks good to you, you can tap off of it. And this is a pet peeve of mine, but I think that that O is just a little too far from that T. So now we're going to go down here to actions and ungroup. Now you're going to tap off, then tap back on. And now as you can see, you have one little box instead of the whole thing. So we're just going to move that to exactly where we want it. Now we're going to do the same thing with wine. We're going to go over here to edit, click letter space, and we're going to bring that down. Now again, we're going to go back here to actions and ungroup. Now we're just going to pull that W over just a little bit. That looks much, much better. Now you're going to go over here and you're gonna click attach. You're gonna go over here and select your wine and hit attach. And now you can move these wherever you would like them. But a great tip also is to just select all of your layers and go over here to align and align center. That will make sure your whole file is exactly where it needs to be and it's all lined up and even with each other. And once you have everything the way you want it, you wanna select all of the layers select actions and weld it all together. Now, a very important thing to do before you hit make it is to come over to your wine glasses and measure them. Make sure that you are using a tape measure or a ruler or whatever you have to measure these. Now we uh, are gonna go with three by three today. We think that that would be a great uh, size to put on these. So we already sized it and these are three inches width by three inches height. So it's a perfect square. So we're gonna hit make it. And we're gonna select vinyl. And now we're gonna head over to our machine and load in our Cricut mat. Now we're just gonna take our mat and load it into our machine. We have already added our vinyl of choice on here today. And we're using our favorite bulk gold vinyl. So we chose that and we placed it onto our mat and we're just gonna load it into the machine. And once the action is complete, just unload your mat. 
And something I like to do even before we start weeding is to take our little Cricut scraper tool and burnish over the vinyl before it's weeded. Now grab your Cricut True Control knife and cut the access. And now just get your Cricut tool of choice and get to weeding. And what burnishing it before we weeded it did was it really helped to adhere all the letters down because sometimes when you weed vinyl, we find that our letters want to come up while we're weeding the negative vinyl and we did not want that to happen. So burnishing beforehand is a very good tip. Now we've cut a piece of transfer tape and we're just going to peel the backing off of it and apply it onto our weeded images. Now again, grab your Cricut scraper tool and burnish. Once you remove your weeded images from the mat, you will be very tempted to go ahead and put your vinyl onto your glasses, but I urge you to take this extra step. We have some rubbing alcohol here in a little bottle that we got from the dollar store, and we're going to take a piece of paper towel and add a few pumps of the alcohol, and we're going to wipe off the area that we're going to apply our vinyl to onto our wine glasses. And what this does is it really helps the vinyl to stick beautifully once this is dried. It takes off all the dirt from your hands, all the oil from your fingertips, or any dust that could have accumulated over time. So now we're going to remove the backing from our vinyl. And if you have any problems doing this, just reapply this piece of transfer paper backing and you can burnish some more. And once you've removed the transfer paper backing, take your wine glass and just lay your vinyl onto the glass. Don't press it all, just lay it down and then you can hold it up to you to make sure it's even and you like where it goes. And before you start to burnish it down, Grab your pair of scissors and start cutting along the transfer paper. Be sure not to cut any of the letters, but this just makes it so much easier for the transfer paper to help your vinyl stick to your wine glasses. Once that's done, take your index finger and your thumb and start slowly pressing all of your vinyl down. And once you're confident your vinyl is well adhered to your wine glass, pick a corner and pull your transfer paper straight down. Now repeat this process with your second wine glass. What did you all think of these super cute wine glasses? I told you that you would love them and they're so much easier to apply vinyl to than you probably originally thought. I hope that you learned something from this video and that you are way more confident in applying vinyl to these little wine glasses. And these make perfect gifts for whoever in your life likes to wind down. Thank you all so much for watching this video and please give us a like and leave us a comment down below and let us know what you'd like to see next. If you love these fonts we used in today's video, then check out the link below where you can find these, over 80 others, and over 700 digital cut files that you can use with your die cutting machine. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!